I'm Horace Dowdy, and every Tuesday I bring a nature lesson, local nature lesson from Lexington, Virginia, by way of YouTube, and I encourage you to go to Horace Dowdy YouTube and subscribe and like, and then go to the little uh, bell icon so you'll be notified, and that, that will be helpful. I appreciate that. And share this uh, uh, platform with your friends and your family and your neighbors. Today, I want to talk about a very common plant, especially in the northeastern or the, the eastern part of the United States. In fact, it was grown all over the United States. Broom sedge, or broom sage, as some people call it. it the Latin name for it is Andropogon virginicus. So it must have been found in Virginia years ago. It's a native grass which I think you can find in most of the United States. It's considered invasive, which means nothing more than it will grow where you don't want it to, where you'd rather other things grow. But broom sedge does have some benefits that, that I like. Number one, it's pretty, it's ornamental. It uh, is easily, it'll grow anywhere, uh, all practice, in fact, it. It prefers soil that is not too rich. It does not take much water. It is good for erosion control. It will grow on the side of a bank so the bank will stay there. It uh, also is grown as a windbreak, for, especially for smaller animals like sheep and goats. And it is good as wildlife habitat. Wildlife likes to live in it, make nests in it, eat the seeds and graze on it when it's young. Uh, deer love it when, it when it's little and green. Uh, it does attract uh, butterflies and, and good insects, so it's, it, it has some benefits. Farm livestock will eat it in the spring when it's low and green. Now, it will grow up to four feet tall. This is not that tall, but it's simply because I, I couldn't find any tall this morning. But must have been used, and I read on uh, YouTube that it has been used as uh, for making brooms, and it is called broom straw by a lot of people. In fact, it's just called straw grass by many people. It is tough, it is resilient, it is colorful in every season, it is green, it is almost blue, it's so green, and then in the autumn and the winter, it turns a golden sort of yellow-orange, which makes it extremely attractive, especially when snow is a foot or so deep. This will grow out through the snow and add wonderful color to the landscape, a, a, a sort of a coppery shine to the landscape. The seeds are spread by wind. They have little parachutes, but it can also spread by the roots, so it is uh, something that will always be around. The name, another name for it is whiskey grass because especially in Australia, they found that they could pack the glass bottles of whiskey in this grass and protect them from breakage. So there you have broom sedge, broom sage, broom straw, straw grass, very common plant, but I like it. That is your nature lesson for today.